G'day guys, my name is Jaden. welcome back to my channel. I'm at Narita Airport Terminal 1, the Starlines and Sky Team Terminal. Today I'm going to fly Asiana A380 from here to Selwincho. It's one of the world's shortest A380 flight, it takes less than 2 hours. So I've never flown Asiana before so I'm very keen to see what they're like. Now without further ado, let's head inside and check in. We're at Narita Airport Terminal 1 South Wing, where most Starlines flights depart from. One well is in Terminal 2, and you'll find Sky Team in Terminal 1 North Wing. Despite a very full A380 flight today, the queue for check-in is short and fast moving. After checking in, it's time for security and immigration. If your Starlines gold or you're flying in business or first, you can use the fast track. For most travellers departing from Japan, you can now use the E-Gate. It was fast, quick and easy. I now find myself in the Terminal 1 airside. It's quite busy at the moment. I just had a look at the departure board. A lot of flights to Taipei and Korea are departing soon. The duty-free shops are busy as hell. I went in to get something for my sister. Then afterwards, I looked at the map that the chicken agent gave me. With my Star Lions Gold, I could use the All Nippon Airways Lounge or United Club. Today, I decided to use the United Club because it's closest to my gate, number 45. You can tell from the finishing the lounge is quite old, but I still really like it. It's big, airy and bright. The food is pretty good as well. I was in the United Club for about an hour, had some great food, particularly the beef rice. Then I walked to gate number 45, about a five minute walk. Gold? Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Oh, yes. Yes. That was so funny. So basically, she had a photo of my baggage that Virgin Australia lost two days ago. They were going to deliver it to my home in Hong Kong, but instead, Virgin flew them to Tokyo Haneda. Then, somehow, last night or today, they sent it to Narita. I don't know how they knew that I was flying on Asiana. The airlines must be communicating. Anyway, now the bags are going with me to Seoul. Here's my seat today, 41A. It's an overwing seat, so it's somewhere downstairs in the middle. I'll quickly go through the seat features. Every seat on the A3D is so wide, recline angle is enormous, and you've got a comfortable headrest. Every seat features a large touchscreen TV, a cute little cut hook, USB ports, and a TV remote. Down here, you'll find a tray table. You can move it back and forth and fold it in half. Down here, you'll find a seat pocket with your safety card, headphones. There's only one pocket, so it's not that great for storage. Leg room is enormous on Asiana and also Korean Air. You can trust the Japanese and Korean airlines with their leg room. This seat also has a footrest and universal power socket, but you'll need to share that with your neighbor. Asiana A3D has economy class downstairs and upstairs. In the lower deck, it's in a comfortable 343 layout. In the upper deck, the configuration is 242. However, you'll need to pay extra to sit upstairs. 
By the way, the cabin is currently really hot, there's no personal AC vent, and those seats are so wide and comfy, however, the seat back is quite hard. So it's good for those who like to sit upright, however, if you like to slouch like me, it's not that good. In-flight announcements are made in English, Korean and Japanese. After we pushed back, we were just standing there for a while, so I thought I'll show you the in-flight entertainment right now. For the system's language, you can choose English, Korean, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. There's not a whole lot of English movies to choose from, but the selection that they picked is quite good. Other than Hollywood or English movies, there's an extensive selection of Korean dramas. Despite the rather old in-flight entertainment system, the flight map is interactive. You can zoom in and zoom out to wherever you want. Most, if not all, A3D has external cameras. You can check out the view outside from the comfort of your seat. I'm pretty sure Delta doesn't operate the maintenance here anymore, but 10 years ago, Narita Airport was a strategic hub for Delta. Every day, dozens of flights arrive from the USA, then they will continue their journey to Asia. Destinations include Bangkok, Shanghai, Seoul, and Hong Kong. But Delta is now focusing less on Asia. Tokyo is no longer their hub. You still get non-stop flights from US to Tokyo, Seoul, and Shanghai, but they don't go anywhere else in Asia. Other places like Hong Kong, Singapore, and Bangkok, Delta don't go there anymore. However, notably, they'll restart the Taipei service soon with a non-stop flight from Seattle. In less than half an hour after takeoff, the crew started their service. Today you'll be given a hot meal and a selection of drinks. On Manage My Booking, I've pre-ordered a vegetarian meal. On Asiana, special meals don't come first. They have them in the trolley, they just give it to you when they come past you. Despite the fact that they're serving the food in a box, you still get your starter and water couplet. It's really no difference to a meal tray. It's mostly just presentation. So for my main, I got this pasta with tofu. An interesting combination indeed, and I didn't really like it, it was too dry. For drinks, I went for a cup of OJ. For those who didn't order a meal, today you'll be given a katsu chicken rice. And for dessert, it's a waffle, the kind that you'll find in a Japanese family mart or lawson. 
The service today was really quick. By the time the crew came back to collect meal trays, we're still flying over Japan. Hello there, welcome on board Asiana A380. Hello, welcome on board Asiana A380, economy class lavatory. This is just behind uh, row 42. So relatively spacious. Here we've got facial and hand lotion. Uh, paper cups here if you want to rinse your mouth. Go hook. Just now I walked past the galley and I saw a tray of leftover waffles that the passengers didn't consume. I've had plenty of those waffles before in Japan, they're delicious. I simply couldn't resist and I took one. I just had a nap and now we're flying over Korea. It's not a big country, so when you fly to Seoul and you see Korea, usually you start descending already. The same could be said for Taipei. We're landing soon and I'll quickly conclude this trip port right here right now. Our journey today started at Terminal 1 at Narita Airport. Check-in was quick and easy, so was security and immigration. Today I went for the United Club. It's definitely not the best lounge in the world, but it's good. It has everything you need like champagne, shower, food and tarmac view. Once on board, a friendly welcome from our cabin crew and I immediately noticed how comfortable the seat was. Leg room is unbeatable. The food that I received wasn't memorable, but a katsu chicken rice that my neighbour had looked alright. After a few flights with Asiana and Korean Air in the past few months, I've come to the conclusion that Korean Air has much better vegan food, and also on every Korean Air flight, I get a personal greeting for being Sky Team Elite Plus, but I never got that on Asiana for being Star Alliance Gold. Now please enjoy the touchdown into Seoul and later a vlog. See you later. Those remote gates are interesting. It's got a jet bridge and an indoor area. So when it does rain, travelers don't get wet. Korean Air just announced that they would retire some of their 747-8, which is sad really. On my channel, you can find some Korean Air 747 videos. Do check them out. Number five clear. Mm. Number five clear. When cabin crew disarm and arm their doors on Asiana, they announced that through the PA. I've never seen that before, so I find that quite interesting. Thank you. So I just got my bags. I haven't seen them since I was in Australia. I'm very glad they made it to Korea for the first time. I'm only in Korea for less than 24 hours. Tomorrow, I would fly on one of the last Asiana 747 flights from here to Taipei. I've already uploaded that report onto YouTube. You can go check it out. So Incheon Airport is actually really far from the city center and I'm here for less than 24 hours, so I decided to stay at the airport hotel, and I won't be going out at all. There's a new Abbas Styles not too far from Terminal 2, where Korean Air depart from. Asiana is in Terminal 1, so it's a journey, but it really didn't matter, you get a free shuttle anyway. For tonight, I got a queen bedroom with a view of the airport. The site of this hotel is quite interesting, there's literally nothing. It's just that out of nowhere, you've got this block of hotel. All those A3Ds, you see the tape around it, it looks like they're gonna get rid of them. So that's it really, it's a really short one, I do apologize. In case you've missed out, definitely go check out my Asiana and Korean Air 747 videos. I'll have the video links in the description. Thank you very much for watching and a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons and members for your continuous support. I'll see you again next week when I next upload. Bye bye.